everybody. Um, had a great recommendation for a video by, uh, and please excuse the Spanish here, Fernando Labuena420. Uh, he recommended I do a video on the explanation of the albino gene, which I think is very confusing, but we can break it down to where it's going to make a lot of sense. So, let's go ahead and get into it. The albino gene in reticulated pythons, we all know it's a recessive gene, which by recessive means if you breed two snakes together and one carries a albino gene and the other doesn't, you're not going to get what's called a phenotype or a visual. A recessive gene has to be matched up with another gene of the same type to get a phenotype or a visual. So if you have an albino snake and you breed it to an albino snake, you're going to get albinos. Okay. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky, but not really. There are three phases of albino, your main phases. You got your purple phase, you got a white phase, and you got a lavender phase. All right. Simple enough, right? Well, let's just start with those three. As you can see here, this is Triton, my white phase albino. You can see by all the white in between the yellow. All right. Three types of albino, purple, uh, white, and lavender. If you breed a purple albino to a purple albino, you're going to have all purple albinos. Okay. If you breed a purple albino to a white albino, you're going to get what's called a lavender albino. Makes a lot of sense, right? You take purple and you put white, you're going to get a much um, softer color of purple, which we call lavender. All right, so what happens if you mix a lavender with a lavender? Guys, if you do that, you're going to have all three phases of albino in your clutch. You're going to have purples, you're going to have whites, and you're going to have lavenders. So that is where it breaks down real easy, all right? The purple and the white phase albinos are called what is what's called a T negative phase. All right, now let's bump up the complication a little bit. Now throw in blonde or caramel, which is another phase of albino, but just makes it a little bit more difficult. The purple and, or the, I'm sorry, the blonde and the caramel is a T positive albino. All right, so let's just say you mix a blonde snake a blonde albino with either a purple or a white phase albino snake. Then you get what's called orange glow. A lot of you have seen my orange glow tiger. Uh, you have also seen my orange glow male and his name is Ophion. We just did a uh, unboxing of him recently. He is an orange glow which basically means somebody mixed up a blonde or a caramel to a purple or a white. Now, two phases of orange glow. Is it a purple phase or is it a white phase? The purple phase, I will go ahead and tell you that it's a little bit brighter. And I may get this backwards, purple and white. The white is a much brighter uh, color snake, whereas the purple phase has a much higher contrast. So, for all of these you confused, all right, how do you get orange glow? Well, you had to mix blonde or caramel to a purple or a white albino snake. Now, let's really confuse you guys. What in the hell is amel? I call it amel, amel, A-M-E-L. I don't know how you guys pronounce it. Look, this whole category is confusing enough. We don't need to have names that are going to confuse us even more. Okay, the amel gene, A-M-E-L, is a white phase albino, 
the yellows are uh, a lot more pale where the whites are much more brilliant and occasionally with the animals you get a white head so you see the the pale real pale yellow with a bright white you can pretty much know that that is an animal if somebody knows the pronoun the correct pronunciation of that let me know all right so that is your albino class for today remember three phases white purple lavender you mix a white and a white you get a white you mix a purple and a purple you get a purple you mix a white with a purple you're going to get a lavender if you mix lavender and lavender you're going to get all three you're going to get the lavenders the whites and the purples now throw in the blonde caramel with a white or a purple orange glow so there you have it there is your class for albino snakes, most preferably reticulated pythons. You can see on this jab right here, little triton. Let me get a closer look. White phase albino. You can pretty much tell. Now, a lot of the, where the name comes from is that little stripe on the head. That is where you can pretty much tell a lot of it, but uh, it's going to be pretty evident along the pattern as well. But the little stripe down the head, if it's like a really uh, pale purple, it's what we call a lavender. If it's real bright purple, guess what? You got a purple. All right, that's your breakdown on your albinos. I hope that helped a lot of people. Fernando La Buena 420. Dude, you used 420 on that. We can pretty much guarantee what you're a big fan of. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but hey, we're going to go with it. I appreciate that, uh, Fernando. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate the recommendation. And uh, I thought that was a pretty good topic for today. So hopefully that helped you guys out. Uh, if you have any more questions about the albino phase, let me know. It is a very confusing category. So chances are, you know, this is just the basics of it. Um, there's probably a lot more to it when you start mixing the blondes, caramels. Uh, I believe if you mix those two, you get an endo, something or other. So, yeah, I get confused, too. Uh, I'm sure some of my viewers know a little bit more about the blonde caramel strand. I don't know a whole lot about it. Uh, I am breeding two orange glows this year. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what we get on that. And I believe that's where the endo comes in, too uh indo caramel but again i hope that helped you out on the albino uh lesson for today if you have any questions drop it on the comments give me a like and uh, subscribe and uh see you next time appreciate it